You know, when we would like to apply for a loan, we offer our house or another type of asset to the bank as a collateral. Well, banks do something similar. Let me explain. When banks need money from the central bank, like the European Central Bank, they offer assets such as bonds, for example, from large corporates as a collateral. This system known as the collateral framework has great impact on climate and nature and likely to be even more so given accelerating climate change and nature loss. At the moment, this impact is more on the negative side, but it doesn't have to be. In our latest report with WWF, we explore how the ECB can fix this problem. Take France, for example, the food and beverage sector that we looked at our sample alone negatively impacts freshwater areas equivalent to the size of Mallorca and their land areas that are larger than Croatia. Companies in agriculture and fossil energy are not only contributing to this damage, but also highly depend on and at risk of the very destruction they cause. The ECB can revise the rules of its collateral framework and so discourage banks from financing companies in industries like fossil fuel and those that are negatively impacting nature and biodiversity, a small change could have a large impact. For example, exclusion of certain assets tied to companies in fossil fuel exploration and extraction or contribute to deforestation and depletion of our freshwater resources sends a clear message that these activities and companies simply are not compatible with the future that we would like to have. Next year, the ECB will make a crucial decision on the rules governing its collateral framework. At the moment, ECB has all the tools and the data needed to make this change happen. Focusing on climate risks isn't enough. Climate, nature and biodiversity are one and the same, and this is what makes our planet so rich and singular.